Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Enrique, aka Big East Comics, coming at you with this week's comic book haul. That's right, guys. We got a quick little haul for you today. This haul consists of um, some a, e a couple of eBay purchases, my local LCS, and I bought one also from a fellow YouTuber slash Instagram slash Facebooker. <laughs> yeah, he, you know, it's from my boy from uh, my boy Bruce Dias. You know, he's in all, all social media, so he's from all, you know, he's not just from YouTube, he's also on Facebook, and, and we also on Instagram also, but he hooked me up with a book the, that I purchased from him, so we'll get to that, but first, real quick, you know, earlier today, I heard the news, rest in peace, Rich Buckler, you know, so sad that all, you know, it seems like every other day, one of the one of the great legends of our uh, hobby is passing away, you know, so, um, that was my goal this year, to kind of uh, see as many as I can before, because, you know, they're getting older, and, and, and you're not going to see them anymore, you're not going to be able to to interact with them, or, you know, get a signature from them, and things like that, you know, so um, try to go out, you know, and, and go to as many cons and signings as you guys can, because, you know, one day these guys are not going to be here anymore, and, um, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a sad thing, you know? Um, all right, so now let's just get on real quick with this haul. Just you know, there's a couple of new books. I just want to show you them real quick. First, Walking Dead 167. You guys already know, big. You know, it's been out for a few weeks already. There's no surprise. Spoiler alert. You know, um, Andrea dies. You know, and um, a very good issue. You know, uh, we both, uh, my wife and I, both read it, and um, she, we both kind of feel the same way about the issue. If you know, this issue right here, if you wanted to end The Walking Dead on this issue, it could have ended in this issue, you know, we feel. Like, it was, you know, it's had a good ending, this um this issue. So, if you guys have not read it yet, suggest, you know, you guys, you know, read it. Then, uh, this right here, All-Star Batman, number 10. And honestly, you know, the last issue I read was issue number 7. Um, so, I, I haven't read 8, 9, or 10. And I, I'm, I think at this point, I'm, gonna, I'm dropping it. Also, um, it's gonna, I'm gonna drop all my pulls completely. The only one is book is gonna stay on my pulls is The Walking Dead. You know, uh, we got Batman 21, the button. You know, so I read the button, read everything on it. Um, we're gonna talk about it on tomorrow's night show, chilling with the NY Warriors. Not tomorrow night, Monday night show, um, chilling with the NY Warriors. See how you guys, what you guys thought about the button, the whole, you know, Watchmen end of it and everything. I thought it was a pretty good, pretty good story. You know, and they finally, you know, again, spoiler alert, if you guys haven't read it, they finally confirmed, you know, it was Dr. Manhattan, you know, that did that. And um, so let's see what role the Watchmen play in all this, you know. Then my LCS threw my bag. Um, I usually don't get the variants anymore, like, like I threw pull list, but um, they put this one in there, which is cool because I already had ordered all of them from... Uh, discount comic book service online i pre-ordered all the, the 3d covers but they had this one in there since i, I didn't get mine yet I, I just i kept it why not that's how uh, batman 22 then this one here i got this this is a hookup from my boy uh manny nyc this is the um batman 21 you know the button this is the convention exclusive foil cover that they gave at uh that they were selling at c2e2 i think uh my boy tony um why not or i think uh manny had ordered two from him to you know so he can buy, get him two of them he bought he manny had bought two of them uh so, you know for him and one he you know was gonna get one, one he was hooking me up with so which is cool so shout out to my boy manny nyc he also hooked me up with this i just want to show you guys too um haven't showed it this is uh mighty mugs i don't think they make these anymore this was uh um san diego comic-con 2009 exclusive really cool wolverine you see you know i guess they didn't you know the pops pops were more taken by the people i guess than these are but these mighty mugs are pretty cool um all right so all right, so that's it from the LCSs, and that was from my boy Manny YC hooking me up with that. And let me just show you now what I got on eBay. Well, one eBay pickup. Uh, I got this for like 15 bucks with shipping included. Um, Thor 157. Um, not nothing major. Um, nothing major about it. You know, just he's just fighting Ragnarok on there, which is pretty cool. You know, considering the movie's coming out soon. But, um, it, you know, it's not a key issue, not like that, but, it, but it's awesome, you know, it's awesome cover. You know, it's in, in really nice condition. 
All right, so this next book right here, um, this one here, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 36. This is the one I originally bought in, on eBay that came damaged because uh, the seller didn't put it in between any cardboard. He just sent it in a regular envelope without any cardboard in between it. So it it was bent, it bent, the whole spine was bent. Um, but I gave it to my boy Kenny, the presser, and he ended up, um, you know, it, it's not, they were, there are some colored breaking ticks on it but his pressing helped it a whole lot and I ended up instead of sending it back to the seller I ended up keeping it you know um then um when I I had made the decision of I was gonna send it back to to the to the presser I mean I was gonna send it back to the eBay um person that I, I bought it from and then um I had I, I put on the Facebook, on the New York Warriors Facebook page, I had put out the call, see if anyone had a, a, a near mint copy, many mint copy of this book, and um, a, couple of, a couple of people uh, did, you know, to contact me, but the one that um, I, I chose to was from my boy Bruce, Bruce Zayas. Um, he was like, yo, my copy is Manny Mint. I said, well, you know what? Enough said. Because he knows what Manny Mint means <laughs> already. So I got myself my Manny Mint copy of Amazing Spider-Man 36. You know, so hopefully one day I'll get uh, uh, John Romita Jr. to sign it and stuff like that, you know. But he also threw in this one, which was cool. Uh, Dr. Manhattan, Before Watchmen, number one. Really cool. Adam Hughes cover. Then uh, the rest are all eBay purchases. Uh, okay, the X-Men number 136. You know, Chris Claremont, John Byrne. Love it. And then uh, these two books here. These are many, many. You know, I see put me onto these books. This is one of his favorite covers, and I can see why. You know, it's really cool. Uh, 137. Love that cover. So pick that up. Then this one here. Uh, many people might not know this character, but I know who they are. So that's all that matters. This is um, Avenger Comics number 289. This book is in really really nice condition for a book from 1961 definitely gonna get graded just because of the condition this is the first appearance of Jax Orr Jax Orr is a villain from the Phantom Zone from Krypton he's uh he came out around closely uh, be right be right after uh General Zod came out and he's supposed to be more more of a villain than than General Zod more more I guess eviler or more evil than General Zod you know that's the storyline behind him he's you know he's an evil scientist plus he's as strong as superman because you know he's from krypton so um it's cool to have his character i like to get all the all the kryptonian all the superman villains so you know it's kind of one of my goals even though some of them are a little too hefty you know like that first brainiac that um action comics 242 way way out of my league low grade copies of that book 2.5 are a thousand dollars at least <laughs> you know so you can imagine a mid-grade on that book and then last but definitely not least, this one actually came in the mail today, but so that's why I decided to make the video today. Man, this is uh, Fantastic Four number 20. This one's from 1963, and this is the first appearance of the Molecule Man. You know, there's some people that know the Molecule Man is, but there's a lot of people that don't know who the Molecule Man is. Um, Molecule Man is one of those, you know, villains that are like super super powerful but he, you know he's so scared to, about his power he doesn't use his power fully you know um but he was a big part of the secret wars that just came out you know back in the day real quick i'm gonna tell you a quick little story when i was a kid right um i knew about the molecule man ever since i was young man so i was probably like eight nine years old because the older kids in my neighborhood they would talk to us about like the wrecking crew um molecule man dr doom they would, they would always talk about all the villains and stuff like that and show us so um whenever we used to play we used to play this game called superheroes and we used to pick like who's who's what you know like like i'm the hulk or i'm spider-man and every time they would pick people like that i would always say i'm the molecule man and, and you know my friends would look at me like with well, a molecule man what the hell is that i said yeah i control all molecules so you're all dead <laughs> You know, and a little cheesy story there, you know, you know, but that but that's it guys. Um join us, you know, Monday night. There's a lot to talk about. Uh ten o'clock Eastern for episode twenty five, I believe, of Chilling with the NY Warriors. You know, um and that's it guys. Until next video. Peace.